the Alice Wentworth was the name of it. I went down there and shoveled coal on that. Zebby was quite the character. He was a tough old bird. He'd sail that two-master schooner all by himself down to Rhode Island and back up here with freight, up to Maine. He was unbelievable. He was strong, very strong. Of course, my father knew so many people. They'd come down, different people would come down and talk to my father, you know. And I said to my father one time, I said, gee, I said, you must know everybody in the world. Because to me, and after living in Chilmark, and I've been only knowing a few people, seven or eight people in a day that would come down and talk to him, high cap, and you know. Because there were so many different ones that did know him from all the different years that he'd gone in and out of those ports, you know. He didn't care for land work at all. He didn't yeah. care for farming. You see, he went to sea. And that was his whole life and his love was the sea. If he had a fair wind, he wouldn't go, he wouldn't stop. Most of the time we sailed nights and days too. He could do with very little sleep, and he'd maybe get an hour of sleep, and he'd be up and he'd steer. But lots and lots of nights we sailed all night long. We never stopped. He never would have stayed off to the deck too long at a time, but if he wanted to take a cat nap, as he called it, you know, for a half hour or so, at night he'd tell me a certain thing, like a certain light or something, uh, you know, to steer for, be on a journey near inshore, near shore, and I could steer for it. He was proud of his saleratus biscuits. A saleratus biscuit was nothing more or less than a baking powder biscuit, but he used saleratus. He wouldn't use baking powder, he used saleratus instead, and they were delicious. You always could tell what cargo we were carrying because the biscuits would be slightly rose-colored if we were carrying brick, or slightly grayish if we were carrying coal. Zeb was really one of my favorites. I think my favorite. He was a very homely man. In fact, he had the reputation of being the homeliest man on the East Coast, but he, he could be very compassionate. Very.